Hi, my name is Brick Braun. I'm with RJB Financial Services. I wanted to put this quick video together today to introduce you a little bit about our incredibly lucrative, outstanding final expense program. But before we get into my program, I'd like to discuss a little about what's available out there to final expense agents. If you're a final expense agent looking to build a practice, you have really several options on how to do that. First one is you can go it alone. By that I mean you can burn a contract with one of the numerous final expense carriers, call up a direct mail house, order some mails, get some leads in about three weeks, and you're ready to write. The drawback to that situation is when you go it alone, you have to pay for your direct mail at time of order, not when you get the leads in and can go work them. Depending on where you live, it takes about three weeks to get the leads in once you order a mail drop. Typically, most agents looking to build a final expense business are looking for 30 to 50 fresh leads every week. The nationwide average return rate on a direct mail job that an independent agent does is somewhere around 1.1 to 1.3%. In other words, 11 to 13 leads for every thousand pieces of mail that you send out. So if you're looking for 30 leads, you're looking at mailing 2,500 to 3,000 pieces of mail week in, week out. Any week you don't order mail, three weeks from them, you will have very few leads to work. So, to send out 2,500 pieces of mail, you're going to make an investment of somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,100. Now that needs to be done the first day that you start your final expense practice and you have to wait three weeks for the leads to come in. But guess what happens on day eight, a week later? You need to order mail again. That way, four weeks from when you started, you will have an ample supply of leads. Same way with your third week in your practice. Another $1,100 to $1,300 for mail going out. So before your first lead arrives in your hands and you can go see a client and hopefully sell a policy, you've invested in excess of $3,000 and waited three weeks before the leads come in. As I said earlier, in order to maximize the final expense business, you must do mail every week or else three weeks down the road, you will have very few leads to work. Another way you can build a final expense practice is working with some sort of marketing organization or IMO. Now, when you work with a typical IMO, there's a number of different programs that they will offer agents depending upon who you are working with. The first program is a reduced commission free lead program. Agents hear free leads and they get all excited. The IMO is offering free leads by paying you a substantially lower commission rate, generally in the 50 to 60% first year range. In essence, you are paying for the leads with a lower commission. Granted, the IMO does front the money for the leads until they come in. Another way you can work with an IMO is to get a street level commission, a higher commission level, and buy your leads from your IMO. An agent should always be very cautious of any IMO that is selling you leads. It's very easy for that IMO to take a lead they generated sell it not only to you, but a number of additional agents. It is a very big profit center for them. They have one expense associated with generating that lead, yet they can sell it as a new lead to multiple agents. Another thing that happens in this program 
is your IMO sends you age leads he has in inventory. In other words, you call him up and say, hey, look, I'd like to buy 30 leads. He says, no problem. They're 25, 30 bucks a piece. He goes back and looks and he's got some leads from two years ago that he's already sold fresh to a number of agents. But he pulls them out and sends you 30 of those and charges you new lead price. The profit potential here for IMOs is astronomical. A third program some IMOs use is production-based free leads. In other words, you go out and for every $2,000 in production that you turn in, the IMO will give you a number of leads, usually around 20 leads. You can go work those 20 leads until you produce another $2,000 in annualized premium. Then he will give you some more leads. The problem with this mimics when you are buying leads. You don't know how exclusive the leads are, how old the leads are, etc. And if you have a bad batch of leads, everyone gets those in the business. You're stuck working them or buying leads out of your pocket. The last way some final expense agents work at building a practice is by being captive with an insurance carrier. When you are captive with a carrier, you can only write that carrier's business. They typically offer very low commission rates. They have to pay for their building, their management, all of that type stuff. The money comes out of your commissions. And usually the only marketing done by a captive agency is they will give the new agent a book of business, a number of policyholders who already have policies with them. They want you to go out, meet with these people, review what they have, see if there's any interest in some additional type coverages. The drawback in the captive situation, besides the low commission, is that book of business they're giving you was given to a new agent two months ago who was unsuccessful and another new agent two months before that who was unsuccessful. So when you go out there and start meeting with these people, you're the fourth, fifth, sixth guy that's been there in a year to review their coverages and talk to them about additional business. Now, our program is unique in two ways. These two ways make it one of the most lucrative final expense opportunity on the market. We're going to outline the details of our program now. The first way we are really unique is my carrier gives all of my agents lead financing. What this is, is the carrier will pay for your mail drops until your leads come in, then withhold a portion of your commissions as you write policies to pay back only what you spent in generating those leads. What this does for successful agents is it allows them to order the quantity necessary in the frequency necessary to really maximize their practice. The quantity necessary, you aren't limited by budget, etc. If you want to order 2,000 pieces of mail, you can. The frequency, you can order that every week. Remember we talked earlier, it is imperative you order every week in order to have fresh leads every week. Now with this lead financing program, you work directly with the mail house, just the same as if you were going alone. But instead of paying for them at time of order, all you do is get an invoice in, the carrier will pay them directly and withhold out of commissions like we just discussed. So you don't run into any of the problems when you're working directly with the mail house that we talked about. You never have to worry about our operations selling leads to multiple agents. 
You never have to worry about our operations selling you age leads at new lead prices. All of that's maintained because you are dealing directly with the mail house. You get to choose the quantity that gets mailed. You get to choose what the lead piece says. You get to choose where the mail is mailed to and consequently where the leads come from. This program would be exactly the same if you opened a new checkbook, deposited $5,000 of your own money into that checkbook. Then every time you placed a mail order, you wrote a check out of that checkbook. And every time you got a commission check, you took a third of it and put it into that checkbook only until that checkbook had $5,000 in it. The big difference is the carrier supplies the money instead of you supplying the money. The other distinctive advantage of our operation is what we call data modeling. We have worked with some really smart guys and we've developed a set of algorithms to where we're able to reasonably predict who is going to return a lead card and having it turn out into a lead. This is done by purchasing extra data on a prospect list, running the extra data through the algorithms so that we can reasonably predict the probability of someone returning a lead card and having it turn into a lead. What has this done for my agents? Last year in 2016, we had just a touch under 3% return rates. Remember, we talked about the national average return rate being 1.1 to 1.3%. In our operation, we're just getting slightly below 3% return rates. So for the same cost to mail out a thousand pieces of mail, and get 11 to 13 leads going it alone, if you hit the averages, you're looking at about 30 leads, 28 to 30 leads. That brings your cost per lead down by two thirds. It gives you more leads to go work. Now, when you combine our two distinct advantages, our agents are ordering 1,800 to 2,000 pieces of mail every week with no money up front out of pocket, and they're getting back 40 to 60 fresh leads directly from the mail house every week. Now, what does 40 to 60 fresh leads do for a final expense practice? We average getting an application out of every five leads. That's the good, the bad, the ugly, everyone wrapped together. So if you're receiving 40 to 60 fresh leads, you should be writing eight to 12 applications every week. With that kind of application flow, it's very easy to build a true final expense business. When it comes to dollars talking about this, we're gonna calculate up a little bit of what that turns into. Everyone wants to know how much money we can make with a great program. I am gonna use an average number of 10 applications halfway between the eight to 12. The average application industry-wide generates about $600 a year in annualized premium or AEP. That equates out to $50 a month in monthly premium for your final expense buyer. So 10 apps, $600 in AEP. That means you are gonna be writing $6,000 a week an annualized premium with street level commissions and no money out of pocket up front for your marketing cost. You do that 50 weeks a year, 
you're looking at $300,000 a year in written production. That is why this program is the most lucrative final expense program on the market today. Our carrier offers a number of additional benefits associated with their product and program. The first one is what we affectionately call the gas bonus. How this works is once you write eight applications in a month, they will give you $10 for every application you send into them. This offsets the cost of the gas to go meet with your clients, etc. They pay a nine month advance. They also pay on issue, not when a policy is funded. In other words, you write an application today and you set it up to draft 30 days from now. You submit it to the carrier, the carrier does the prescription check, MIB, their underwriting. Generally within two to three days, you will be paid on that, even though they have not drafted the first premium. There is fantastic trips offered and the ability to build a downline agency. Now, when you are talking to prospective agents for your agency, how is it easy is it to tell them, look, you will have no money marketing costs out of pocket up front. You'll be able to order the quantity of mail you want. You'll be able to choose where the mail goes. We've got a propriety, proprietary data modeling program that drastically increases the amount of return rates on the mail. They will have more leads than they've ever had in their life. Makes building an agency substantially easier. I would like to talk with all true final expense professionals more about our program. There's some additional information on our website. The web, the web address is on the screen now, as well as our telephone number. Please give us a call so we can chat further. This is Rick Braun thanking you for your time to look at our opportunity in final expense. Thanks.